Mission San Inez hosted a groundbreaking ceremony today. News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez joins us live from Buellton. And Christina, what's new at the mission? Hey there, Beth and CJ, that's right. Santa Inez mission will officially begin reconstruction to be earthquake ready. One, two, two three. three. In honor of this seismic retrofitting, the old mission Santa Inez held the honorary groundbreaking ceremony Friday. The city of Salve and much of the valley as we know it today began with the construction of the church. So historically, culturally, for the town, for tourism, and certainly as a spiritual center of worship and prayer and healing, we want to maintain this beautiful place. Santa Inez is one of the last missions to receive earthquake reinforcement. In 2004, we saw with the Paso Robles earthquake what a massive earthquake can do to our California missions. The San Miguel mission was closed. It was off limits. Police tape was all around it. It almost fell down. We don't want that to happen here at San Inez. With the original adobe from the 1800s and wood from the 1900s, seismic activity could cause catastrophic damage. We want to anchor the, the walls together where the walls meet the ceiling. Again, we don't want the, the roof to wobble or fall in on people during a quake. So we want to strengthen that, We're putting in some steel bars, some structural members to keep it a safe place. An average of 100 people visit the museum and gardens daily, while Sunday masses see about 1,000 people. It's one of the last missions to be retrofitted, and we're here to make sure that this retrofit is successful so that this mission stands for future generations. The California Missions Foundation secured $500,000 of a federal match grant to begin the project. This retrofit will certainly be an important part of maintaining this, this historic and cultural and spiritual treasure for all people. The eight-month project is expected to be completed by the end of this year. For now, live in Buellton, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez. All right, thank you, Christina. Still